most important of all, I think, for purposes of trying to understand where this situation is likely to go in, in the next few days, is the fact that on the West Bank there is considerable support for an immediate ceasefire. This suggests to me that Mahmoud Abbas has some significant political leeway in order to work on that issue. He is not likely to face, I think, anyway, major popular resistance on the West Bank if he is able to produce a ceasefire in Gaza, even without fully accepting all of the demands that he now officially has made his own, that Hamas is also putting on the agreement to a ceasefire. But what you can also see here in this first slide is that the public is, I call it, not just divided. It's not just that there are, you know, 60-40 splits, but also ambivalent in the sense that people say one thing and then they, a majority at least, says something else that is actually rather contradictory. This is not unknown in public opinion all over the world. And so even though more people in the West Bank support than oppose an immediate ceasefire, almost two-thirds say that their position is closer to Hamas on that question. And Hamas, as you all know, rejects an immediate ceasefire. It shows that people have different sets of concerns, demands, ideas in their mind at the same time. 